in the vast tapestry of time. One rugged icon has stood the test of time, the Land Rover Defender. From its humble beginnings to its latest evolution, the Defender has been the epitome of off-road prowess and timeless design. Hello, my name is Kala Mutua. I work for Inchcap, the Jaguar Land Rover dealers in Kenya. And uh, this day, I'm here to review the Land Rover Defender brand as part of the Jaguar Land Rover cars. So today we're reviewing the Defender and uh, just to give you a brief overview of the Defender, it's the first car that Land Rover launched in 1947 and has been in operation up to date. It has undergone, it has undergone several transitions to the point it is right now. Before me here is a Land Rover Defender, the Series 2. After the launch in the 1947, there was Series 1, which went from 1947 to 1958. And then from 1958 is when we have the Series 2. And then we also have later, they launched the Series 3. So the Series 2 Defender we have here is a 1965 model, which is a 2-liter diesel version. And uh, welcome as we review the car. This is the Defender Series 2 of 1965 as you can see it the starting from the front this is the bull bar it was made of steel to make sure it was very tough and can be able to, to go to every and every kind of terrain you have the these were the fog lights was slightly the front and this one was the indicator so the indicators for this series 2 were in the front and the fog lights were here these were the head labs of the Land Rover Defender Series 2. On the front, they were circular in shape and they were not like the modern one LEDs, but they were looking like this. This is the front grille with the old Land Rover bunch in the front. We have the spare wheel for the Land Rover Series 2, which was uh, at the top of the bonnet. And when you open the bonnet, the engine was uh, down there. Then well, you have the side mirrors for the Land Rover Series 2 where on the front, on the side of the hood, where you can be able to see the car. When you come to the wheels, the, the wheels are quite high with a smaller, smaller size uh, rim, but the wheels were very good, the car making it very high for accommodating it to be able to do the on-road and even the off-road. This car was basically good to perform on the off-road basics and that's why you see it has a very good ground clearance even if it doesn't have the air suspension. When you come to here you find uh, the, the, the lock for opening the car. You raise it like this and then you can be able to open the car. It was basically a two-door car. You have uh, two people seated at the front there's a leather seat in the car and uh, it was basically a manually controlled car. Therefore you have the clutch, the brakes and the accelerator. This was the gear shifter and the series 2 had up to 4 gears. So it was at gear 1, gear 2 and gear 3 and the reverse gear and then the handbrake down there. This is the steering and uh, the indicators of this side. And then you can also be able to see the, the, the AC, how you can be able to open the AC for this car. You can be able to see how you use to open the air to just get into the car and you can be able to see. You still have a rear view mirror inside the car there. You could be able to see at the rear. And now I can be going ahead to review the modern Defender. As the years passed, the Defender evolved adapting to the changing needs of its drivers. The iconic box shape remained a constant, a symbol of strength and durability. With state-of-the-art terrain response systems, powerful engines and a luxurious interior, the new Defender is not just a vehicle, it's an experience. So as you can see, this is a new Land Rover Defender model year 2024. And it has grown and has become a new thing, quite very great compared to the other one. You can see the lights have evolved comparative to the to the other lights we saw on the other car. As you can see, these are LED lights with the day running lights. On the other one, we could not see the day running lights, and they are matrix. Then the fog lights have been pushed down here. So for the fog lights there, you can see the grill, and even the color is very glossy. At the top, you can be able to see the the checkered finish of the car 
quite uh, very good. The size of the tires you can be able to see is a size 20 inch rims tires and the car has their suspension so you can still go up to the clearance of the old Land Rover Defender. So as we go on the other side, the body material that I'm making this body is an old body aluminium making it quite very strong on impact against things like an accident. Land Rover Defender 110, the 2024 model here, comes with many accessories. Starting here, we have the side step, which will give you easier access into the car, even if the car is raised to the off-road height. It has a keyless entry, so you can be able to use the keyless to enter and come out. Then another kind of accessory is uh, the wind breakers. They, they will be able to help you and streamline the car as you move out. Then you also have the, the roof rack, which can be able to carry a weight of up to 3,500 kgs. It also comes with what we call the rear spoiler, makes it quite very good and uh, for movement. So this is the rear spoiler with the lights here. Then on the, just another move from the old to new, you can even see the lights, how they have been fitted inside the car, well crafted inside the tail of the car, quite good. And the rear fog lights have been put there, quite good. On the other one, we did have the rear fog lights, but this one has uh, the rear fog lights. When it gets into the inside of the car, once you can be able to open the car, be able to look here quite a very spacious car first of all being a luxury car which is also very capable you can be able to look at the interior this has a customized interior this is tan interior quite a very good interior and has been customized for the car with wood finishes on the sides of the car one of the other thing of this car is the ability to be able to move around with it and have power wherever you go. So there are power sockets at the back, you can be able to charge and then the, you, you have two different, three kinds of ACs, you can have the front AC, people having their own different ACs and even the rear passengers having their own ACs. Another luxury thing about this car, it, 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 it has the wireless charger. So modern way, if your phone has uh, the ability to, to charge wirelessly, you just place your phone there and it will be able to charge wirelessly. Other thing about this car, it has a 13 inch floating screen, which enables you to be connected via wife, via Bluetooth. It enables you to be, to connect your phone. Even uh, modern navigation is prefitted in the car. When you tap there, you can be able to see navigation of where you're going and it can direct you to any place. Unlike the old Land Rover, which used not to have navigation or even uh, charging ports for the car. Another thing about this car, it has the air suspension, which makes it quite very comfortable when you're driving on the road and off the road. So when you put the car on the air suspension, it can be good. It has three levels, and the access height, the normal height, and the off-road height, which takes it quite very high at being able to do well in the off-roading areas. It has another kind of a camera, which is called Smart Rear View Camera. As you can see here, once I switch on, uh, so if I switch on the car here, you can be able to see this smart rear view camera here. So this is a smart rear view camera, so you can be able to see at the back. So if you can fill up the boot with your goods, you don't have to worry because this camera fitted up there is quite very good, the car. The, also, the car also comes with a technology we call PV Pro, which manages the systems of the car the music, sound, and everything, even including the camera, because the car comes with a 3D surround cameras, so it helps you to park comfortably when you're parking around. So another thing about the Land Rover Defender 110 and the Land Rover Defenders, it comes with a five-year warranty, or 150,000 kilometers, whichever will come first, and the warranty covers anything that has to do with manufacturer-related failures. Another thing which is very important for the new Land Rover Defender, it also comes with a five-year service plan, or 100,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. So every time the car gets to service, just drop it into one of our service centers, and we have several service centers around Nairobi, and the car will be able to be serviced, both path and labor for free, which is a very important thing about this new Land Rover. So you'll be able to have your comfort and the peace of mind that when you buy this product for the next five years, warranty is covered and if any other thing fails, it probably will fail under warranty and the warranty will take care of it. From there, let me be able to show you the, the bonnet of the car as the opening place is on this other side. So 
these are the bonnet of the car heat. So if you look, you have a three liter engine, which is a six straight cylinders. This specific version is a petrol version, but you can also be able to get a diesel version. The Defender comes with either a two liter or a three liter. The two liter has four cylinders, which are straight, and the three liter has a six cylinder, which are straight. This specific version is a three liter, six cylinder engine. And this is where the engine is, where you can be able, this is where you have your wiper water, you can be fitted, this is where you can put the coolant, where you can put the oil, and all such kind of things. But the car being that it is on warranty, it's very easy. Every time the car gets into service, just drop it into one of our service centers, and you'll be able to have the service for you. From all of us here at Wheels and Thrills, thank you for joining us. Until the next edition, drive safe, stay passionate, and keep the love for cars burning bright.